Today I'm going to show you what the integration and syncing process between Firm Central, Time and Billing, and QuickBooks Desktop looks like. The first step would be to confirm access to sync Firm Central, Time and Billing with QuickBooks Desktop. You do this by going into the admin mode on Firm Central. Go over to the list on the left hand side of the page and click on Product Integrations. Select Intuit QuickBooks. Once access has been turned on, the user will see QuickBooks Desktop as active with an initial connect date listed. All payments and invoices entered in Firm Central Time and Billing following the initial connect date will be pushed into QuickBooks Desktop. The actual sync between Firm Central and QuickBooks goes through a four step process. To begin the sync, right click on the icon for Firm Central Desktop, which is located in your computer's system tray within the taskbar and click QuickBooks. This will open the QuickBooks action menu where you can begin syncing to QuickBooks Desktop. For the first time accessing the sync, the user will need to open the QuickBooks Desktop company file. The system will open to a default location for the QuickBooks Desktop company file. If the default location has been changed, the user will need to find the location by clicking on the browse button and selecting the file. A window pops up and lists out four steps. Clients, Matters, Invoices, and Payments. This is a one-way sync and this is the content that will transfer or flow from Firm Central to QuickBooks. In QuickBooks, clients become customers, matters become sub-customers, and balance details are pushed to the accounts receivable account. If there are any conflicts or duplicate entries existing in both systems, you will see a warning box pop up which will prompt you to resolve the conflict before you can proceed with the syncing process. Once resolved, the syncing process continues and you would wait until that completes. Once the process has completed, you will see a green box pop up with a check mark indicating that the sync is complete. Going forward, Firm Central should be the master for data changes, updates, etc. in order to keep data matching between the two systems. Changes made in QuickBooks will not flow back into Firm Central. Remember, this is a one-way sync. Items that will not sync to QuickBooks include closed matters, previously generated invoice totals, previous payment transactions, trust accounting data, entries will need to be made in both Firm Central and QuickBooks, and Firm Central time and billing statement data.